let us pray before we jump into the word today father we thank you for your word we thank you for the cross we thank you for the blood Hallelujah. We thank you for redemption plan. God, we thank you for what you have done for us. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that you did it just for me. You did it, Lord God, because you saw that without it, Lord God, I would perish. And so this morning, God, I am so grateful. We are so grateful. And God, as we come into your presence, Lord, we just ask that you will just empty us of everything that is not of you, God. That you will help us to center our focus on you, Lord. Remove every distraction, Lord God, so that we may feast from your table. And that we will be filled, praise God, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So this morning, as I was there and I was meditating, I was thinking, I was like, okay, yes. So I know that we have heard, we have heard messages over and over that talks to us about the whole um, death of Jesus, the death and the resurrection of Jesus. We watch the crucifixion movies. We, we, we see it. We know it. We've been going through it for years, over and over, constantly going through what happened. Praise God. But this morning, as the Lord shifted my focus somewhere else, and I want to bring us to that place from that angle this morning of the sacrifice of what Jesus did and what it means for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, you know, there was a long, there was a long period of time that I thought, praise God, that what Jesus did for me on the cross, he did it so that I would go to heaven. He did it so that I would not go to hell. He did it so that I will, I will, yeah, go to heaven, right? So that was always my thought. And whilst I'm here on earth, my mind has just been, okay, when is Jesus coming back so that I can go to heaven, so that I can, I can go to heaven and rest? Praise God. But I was, as I was meditating this morning, praise God, the Lord just had me focus on the fact that the sacrifice that Jesus made, the, 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 the fact that he gave his life, uh, praise God, was to reconcile us back to God. Praise God. It was to reconnect us to God so that we can have access, so that we can have a relationship with him. Right? So I want to follow me because I promise I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Okay, praise God. So he came and he made the sacrifice so that we can be reconciled back to God. So that we can now be connected to him again. So that we can now have a relationship with him again. Now why, has, why, why was this so important that we be connected to God? Was it so that we could just go to heaven and escape hell? I think not. When you look back in Genesis at the original design that God created the heavens and the earth, he created man and he gave man dominion. Genesis 1 and 20, uh, 26, praise God, 28, he gave men dominion over the earth. He said, go and subdue and you will rule Hallelujah. You will rule. You will rule the fish of the sea. You will rule the beast of the land. You will take care of everything. That was the original plan. But in order for that to have happened, praise God, Adam needed to be connected to God. That is why he was able to name all the animals because he was so connected to God. He was able to identify, to discern the names that God wanted for animals so he could easily name them because he was connected to God. Praise God. So in order for Adam to have subdued and to have dominion over the earth, he needed to have that connection to God. If the original plan was for us to go to heaven, then why would God have created the earth and put us in it, right? If that was his original plan, which speaks to us that that is not the original plan of God. Praise God. Good morning, uh, Mother Walker. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
that is not his original plan so in order for us to subdue and have dominion then we needed to be reconciled back to god the word of god tells us that in the cool of the day god would come from heaven and he would chat with adam here on earth he would come here on earth and he would talk to adam he would have that communion with adam i hope i'm making sense because he could have done it in heaven if that was the original design but he came here and he communion with adam because in order right so let's let me backtrack a little bit so earth was meant to be a colony of heaven right so that is how we can say oh i'm an ambassador of heaven i'm here in the earth representing my father here on earth but who is your father where did you come from where is your kingdom that you came from because you can only be an ambassador for a nation so it means that you are an ambassador for heaven and in order to be an ambassador for heaven you must be connected to heaven you must be connected to the 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 the, the leader that you are representing and so jesus had to come to restore the breach in that connection because there is no way we could colonize the earth to make it like heaven without having access to heaven without having connection to heaven that's what was lost when adam sin and man died praise god we were disconnected from life himself because he is life and without connection to life then how can we be alive so jesus came to restore us back to life to restore us back to the connection of the kingdom that we are meant to represent on the earth that is why the earth is in the state that it is in because there is hallelujah the disconnection from God there is the disconnection from what the kingdom of God is supposed to be like we don't truly Many of us don't even understand what the kingdom of God is all about. But when Jesus was walking the earth, he preached the kingdom. He said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. And he always likened it to a king. He likened it to a judge. He likened it to a kingdom, to an order. Is how he always refers to the kingdom of heaven. So when we think about what Jesus did on the cross, I want us not just to think about it in the sense that he came so that we could live uh, in heaven, but he came so that we can be restored to the original plan, the original command to subdue and to have dominion on the earth. Because the earth was created for us to rule. The earth was created to produce for us. The earth was created so that we can truly demonstrate who God is. As I listen to Dr. Miles Monroe, who we know he teaches a lot about the kingdom, and he would talk about a manufacturer being happy with the product. When you create something, it's the most beautiful thing to see that function you are so pleased when your creation functions if you are if your creative ability is painting you are comfortable you are excited when your painting is hung in somebody's house or or on an exhibition praise god felicia when you prepare your meal and you put them together and you package them nicely you look at it yes it looks beautifully packaged and and your yes you did wonderfully but you get a better a greater sense of fulfillment when that is consumed by someone because it was created to be eaten when i write my books and they come out and i'm like oh these are beautiful i am I, I feel fulfilled when the book is read because that is the purpose that is the original design of the book for it to be read so when we create a thing we expect 
expect that it is going to fulfill its purpose and that is what brings us great fulfillment so then when we start to subdue the earth when we start to have dominion over the earth praise God it gives God pleasure when he created the heaven and the earth and men and, and Adam was ruling Adam was doing what he was supposed to do God said and it was good and it was good and then sin came in the devil came in and he tried to distort the plans of God that's his agenda he always tries to contaminate and to destroy the plans of God because he now wanted to step in but that's why Jesus came Jesus came to restore order to restore us to the original design so the question is how are we producing based on what Jesus did for us are we taking this sacrifice and are we truly reconnecting ourselves to God and his original plan his original design for us he said that I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly we should be living the abundant life. We should be embracing what the earth has to offer. You know, funny, funny enough, um, when I was younger, and uh, I'm going to drift a little bit, right? <laughs> when I was younger, and, um, you know, I was at church and everything, and, and they would, there are just simple things to enjoy the fruits of the earth, to enjoy what the earth can bring, that we would be told no, no, because it's the pleasure of the world. Is it the pleasure of the world or the pleasure of earth? <laughs> Is it what we, we, we should not embrace or enjoy anything on earth because we're going to heaven? But who was the earth created for? It was created for us. And a part of, of stepping into, a part of uh, accepting and receiving what Jesus did on the cross uh, is pursuing our purpose. You are reconnected to God so that you can be reconnected to the divine purpose for which you have been created. And we should never lose sight of that fact. We should never lose sight of it because that is why we are here. Good morning, Mother Virginia. Praise God. That is why we are here. That is why we are here now. We are here today. Because if originally we were to go to heaven, we would have ascended the moment we accepted him as Lord and Savior. Which means that there is more to be done here on earth. Praise God. He has chosen us to do his good pleasure here on on earth he has given us our gifts and our talents so that we praise God can subdue the earth and we sit back and we look around we watch the news we observe the things that are happening around us and we're like Jesus need to hurry up and come for his his work what we need to step into our purpose because we have not yet started to subdue. We have not yet started to have dominion. We have not yet stepped into the order of things, the way that things are supposed to be. And we might look at ourselves and we might say, oh, but I don't have that kind of authority. Oh, but I don't have that kind of power. Oh, but I don't have this. Oh, and we can list all the things that we do not have. But when we really and truly look, praise God, at what God has gifted us with, praise God, some of us, the calling that is upon our lives, we have not yet even tapped into that. We are going to church, but we don't even know 
what the purpose that God put us here on. It goes beyond just going to church. Hallelujah. There is more. Hallelujah. And I'm not saying don't go to church. Absolutely, you should go to church because you need, hallelujah, your leader. You need, praise God, to be taught the word of God. You need the fellowship of the brethren. You need all of that. But also, in addition to that, what is your contribution to the kingdom of heaven manifesting on the earth? Praise God. We are placed here, hallelujah, so that we can have the principles, the order, the laws, praise God, of the kingdom of heaven that should be here on earth. We are here to facilitate that. That should be our purpose. That should be our focus. How can I advance the kingdom on earth? How will I teach about my kingdom? Because we are not of this world. We are in it, but we are not of it. In the same way that an ambassador, praise God, of let's say an ambassador for, for China is, is, is in the U.S. He is in the U.S., but he is not of the U.S. And so they maintain their culture. I want you to think about uh, people who come from different places all over the world and when you look you have that little pocket of people and they're not the same they don't eat the same food they don't dress the same way they're living in the same country as you but they don't wear the same kind of clothes they don't eat the same kind of food praise god they don't talk the same way they conduct themselves according to their culture that is how you live in a place without being of that place so we are of a different kingdom are you following me because jesus came to restore us back to our kingdom to connect us back to the kingdom of god he connected us back to god so we are of another kingdom we are living in the earth we're living in this world but we should not talk like the world we should not look like the world we should not act like the world praise god hallelujah and and when i say we should not look like the world i'm not even talking about dressing because i find it hard to believe that jesus was really dressing so much differently from everyone else yet still praise god everyone knew that there was something different about him there was just something about the way that he walked the way that he talked he looked different he sounded different praise god he acted differently than everybody else even though he was in the world at the time it was evident that he was not of this world praise god and even his disciples praise god hallelujah when he even after jesus ascended everybody could identify them they're like mm -mm. were you with jesus because there's just something about you 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 don't look like you don't talk like us you don't act like us something is different about you praise god hallelujah because we have an understanding he, under, he had an understanding of where he came from of who hallelujah who, whose kingdom he belonged to and who he is but this morning the sacrifice that he he made for us is to bring us back into that place is to, excuse me to bring us back into that knowledge into that realization of who we are of the kingdom to which we belong hallelujah we have been living defeated we have been living like beggars we have been living like paupers hallelujah we have been living substandard lives and we we should ask the question why am i living like this when jesus came and he went through all that he did he got all the lashes hallelujah 
he had to carry that cross. He had to be born. He had he had his hands and his feet born. Praise God. He suffered. They spat on him. They placed a thorn on his head. Glory to God. Ah, Kerabadosia. They gave him vinegar to drink when he was thirsty. He went through all that suffering. My God. All that suffering. All that suffering. Because God said, I'm going to send someone. I'm going to send one to demonstrate my kingdom on this earth. So that he will reproduce more kingdom citizen on earth. So that they will see and know how my kingdom operates. And so that they can too operate in the kingdom principle. Operate like a kingdom citizen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So that my reign will extend even to the earth. And so I'm going to send my son. He's going to go through some things. Glory be to God. There's going to be some misunderstanding understanding the ruler of the earth is not gonna like him praise God they're gonna try to kill him and I'm gonna allow them to do that I'm gonna lay his life down because I know praise God that in order for a seed to produce more seed it must first die and so I'm gonna allow this seed my first begotten son to die so that he can produce more begotten sons praise God and daughters so that my kingdom will expand here on this earth so that my kingdom will expand here on this earth i'm gonna say that one more time so that my kingdom can expand here on this earth earth because that is where his kingdom was meant originally to be expanded to that is why he created us that is why he created the earth so the question is lord how am i supposed to do it how do i do it lord what is my role how can i contribute i thank you for everything that jesus did god I'm sorry for the years that I wasted waiting for heaven to come. Waiting to ascend into heaven when your original design was for me to bring heaven down. Oh, I want us to get that. We are waiting to go up to heaven when God created us to bring heaven to earth. Hmm. Can you see the disconnect? Can you see the confusion? Can you see the stagnancy? Can you see the faulty thinking? Instead of waiting to ascend into heaven, ask how can I bring heaven down? How can I, praise God, contribute to the manifestation of heaven? Hallelujah. The song that says, and that's my favorite verse in the song, that says, you didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. He brought heaven down. Hallelujah. Because this is supposed to be our reign. This is supposed to be our rule. And there is this fear of pride taking over. There is this fear of competing with God. There is this fear that God, I don't want to do something because I don't want to speak a certain way. I don't want to think a certain way. I don't want to step into certain kind of authority because I don't want to blaspheme you. I do not want to, to, to go against what you have done. I don't, I don't want, but, 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 but at the end of the day, when a king has a kingdom, hallelujah, it is his good pleasure that his children rule and reign the kingdom. In doing that, they don't dishonor their father. Actually, quite the opposite. Them doing that, them reigning, them ruling is what brings great honor to their father. Praise God. Good morning, Sister Viola, Sister Carol. God bless you. It is his good pleasure 
for his children to rule, for his children to reign. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why it says, Hallelujah. I got a new revelation of that word, <laughs> of that scripture recently. I'll share it with you another time. Glory to God. But Jesus knew this. Jesus knew. Jesus understood. He understood this principle that I'm sharing with you this morning. And that is why he was so effective. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, but Jesus could do that because he was God man. He was God in flesh. So of course he could do it. Praise God. But the truth is he came as the first fruit to produce more fruit after his kind. Praise God. Which means that the same ability that he had to do it, he has given it to us as well. As joint ear with him. The word of God says that we are seated together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We are joint ear with him. Which means when you have an ear to something, it means that everything that the father has belongs to that person, to that child. Glory be to God. And if we have become joint ear with Jesus, it means that we too have equal Access to everything that Jesus also have access to. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I hope somebody just caught that this morning. As a joint ear, you have received access to everything that he has access to. When he ascended, he left all that he had to his people. He left it on earth. He didn't ascend with it. He left it here with us because he understood that he doesn't really need it where he is going because he's going back to the source. Praise God. But we need it here. And that is why in Philippians it says, in Philippians chapter 2, it says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you that is also in Christ Jesus. Praise God. We need a renewing of our minds this morning. It is time for us to see the sacrifice that Jesus made in this light. Because I'm telling you people of God, the earth needs us. The earth needs us. We see all the chaos. We see all the madness. We see all the rulers and the laws and the bills, the crazy bills that are being passed. Where they want to muzzle us and to shut us down. It is not yet their time. How do I know it is not yet their time? Because we are still here. And for as long as the people of God remains in the earth, as long as the spirit of the Lord re remains in this earth, it is not yet the time for the spirit of the Antichrist to rule. Glory be to God because we are here. It is the spirit of God that is restraining him from ruling. So whilst we are here, because where is the spirit of God? It reigns in us. He is in us. Praise God. So it means that whilst you are here, he can only put his plans into place. But I determine whether these plans go into effect or not. I'm telling you, people of God, somebody is getting that breakthrough this morning. You are having that moment, that aha moment. Because we are not puny. We are not puny. I'm telling you, people of God. Jesus came to restore us back to our original order as ruler, as dominion holders over this earth. Which means that as long as you remain in the earth, you have the authority to subdue. You have authority to delay. You have authority to shift. You have authority to disrupt the plans of the enemy. The plans and the agenda of the evil one. As long as you remain in this earth. Glory be to God. Do you know the kind of power that you possess? Are you walking in the power that you possess the power hallelujah of the cross can we talk about the power of the cross 
Oh, we talk about the power of the cross for remission of sin. Uh, to save us from hell to bring us into heaven but can we talk about the power of the cross for us to reign and to rule and to have dominion over the creation of God we cannot miss this it's the last days people of God it's the last days we are in the end of time I want to read that scripture but I want to read it from the King James Version. The Bible I have in front of me is another version. But sometimes I just love the King, the King James Version. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm trying to finish. I'm try Listen, I'm trying to wrap up here. But Holy Spirit is, 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 is doing something. He's doing something in the mind of his people. Second uh, Philippians 2, sorry, verses 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. Hallelujah. Let this mind be also in you that was in Christ Jesus. Knowing that he and his agenda was to bring the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's why you are here. Not to ascend up, but to bring it down. Praise God. How can you bring the kingdom down? Because you're seated in heavenly places. With Christ Jesus. So you can bring heaven down. Hallelujah. Demonstrate the power of heaven in your life. Demonstrate the power of heaven in how you walk, in how you talk. Glory be to God. Don't be too concerned about the physical things that are not manifesting. They are not manifesting because you have not yet understood fully understood the spiritual aspect of who you are and who you were created to be and why you have been placed on the earth praise God when you get that then your mind will be at ease and then you will truly focus on me bringing the kingdom here on earth the power of the cross the power of the sacrifice that he made was to reconcile us back to God because that's what was missing when Adam sinned he stepped out of the presence of God he was separated from God that communion that God had with Adam it was gone and Jesus came so that we can have that connection again so that we can we can subdue and have dominion over the earth in accordance to the kingdom of God in accordance to God's original design and in order for us to do that we had to be reconnected to God in order to know the mind of God oh can you know the mind of God yes because we have the Spirit of God in us and the Word of God says that he knows the mind of God and the Word of God also tells us that the Spirit brings us into all truth, teaching us that which Jesus spoke. How is it that we can still be learning what Jesus did? Things, hallelujah, that's not even written in the scriptures, but we have that revelation knowledge of who Jesus is. How is that even possible? Because the Spirit that He gave unto us, glory be to God. God brings back to our remembrance the things that he said even though we were not there glory be to God hallelujah I am trying to to wrap up this morning <laughs> praise the name of Jesus but I just want us to catch that in our spirits so that we can understand exactly what Jesus meant to do but this is our domain this is where we rule. This is where we rule. 
This is where we rule. I said it before that God gave dominion to Adam. Adam gave dominion to the devil. Jesus came, took the dominion from the devil and gave it back to man. But man has handed the dominion back to God. And we're wondering, so why is it that men don't want the dominion? What am I saying? I am saying that there are things that we are expecting God to do that he is expecting us to do because he gave us the dominion to do those things. So ask yourself this morning, what have I been asking God to do that he has already given me the dominion to do? That he has already empowered me to do. What is it? What is it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus came. He said that he took the keys to death, hell, and the grave. Praise God. Oh, glory be to God. Praise, yes, woman of God. Mm. Hallelujah. There is such a powerful thing about speaking that we should understand because faith comes by hearing. How do you hear something that is not spoken? How do you hear something that is not spoken? And in doing your public speaking, it doesn't even have to be preaching. Praise God. But because of the anointing that you carry, the word of God says even the shadows of the apostles healed all oh, glory to God even the sound that comes out of your mouth because of the anointing that you carry can heal can break curses oh can restore people glory to God speak woman of God thank you Jesus oh God praise God Woo. I don't know what's going on with me this morning but Jesus Holy Spirit, we bless you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We got a whoosh yanda. Reba da 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 bo shende yana na na makosa. Oh, la na 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 makosa. Rede de 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 bosia. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so as you, as you have spent time thanking God for the cross, thanking him for the blood, thanking him for everything, now it's time to produce. Now it's time to step into purpose. All of those things that God been talking to us about. All the things that God been saying, I need you to do it. It's time. It is time. It is time. It is time. It is time for us to step into what God is calling us to do. Without fear. Without reservation. Knowing full well that he has it equipped us for the task at hand he has given you power hallelujah he said that he has given you power over all the power of the enemy where am i where am i going here this morning where am i going here this do you contend with someone who you have you are more powerful than do you still have a tug of war with someone who you are more powerful than so why are we so focused on the enemy? Why are we so focused? Why? Come on, people of God. He said that I have given you power to tread upon serpent and upon scorpion and up over all the power, not some, over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. And I want you to think about it because we understand the power that the devil held, praise God, when he was in heaven. He didn't lose any of it. So we know he's a powerful foe. But why are we so concerned about this powerful foe when God gave us power that supersedes, that exceeds the power that he has? Who is on here? Who is hearing me today? That you are so concerned. You are so concerned with what the devil is doing. And every day you are just talking about the enemy and, 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 and Satan's strongy. And all of these things that we are saying. 
What about your power that God has given to you? It is time to shift out of that. It is time to step into the power that God has given to you. The power. The power. The power of the cross. The power that God has given unto you. To be his witness. There's another scripture that I absolutely love. You know, I'm done fighting. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay right here that the Holy Spirit has me. And I'm just gonna say whatever comes to my spirit. Because I've been trying to end this for 10, 15 minutes now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to talk about Mark 16 and verse 15. <laughs> Mark 16 and verse 15. I'm going to read all the way down to verse 18. We're talking about the power. We're talking about the power that we received when we believed on him. When we believed, praise God. And Jesus said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That's a whole other story. Every creature. Amen. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. What is the what the gospel is the good news of salvation? But he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. I must say that again. These signs shall follow them that believe. He never said these signs shall follow them. Who are anointed or ordained or put in a certain position who hold a certain title God I don't know what you're doing this morning but have your way it, it did not say and these signs shall follow the apostle and these signs shall follow the, 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 the pastor and these signs shall follow the evangelist. And these signs shall follow the teacher. I'm going, I'm talking about all fivefold ministry. I don't know, I missed one. And these signs shall follow this person or that person. The word of God did not say that. The word of God says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. That's the only requirement them that believe that's all you need this morning to believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover these signs shall follow them that believe they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover the signs that follow them that believe praise God if you are sick this morning you better be laying hands on yourself and believe that you shall recover because those are the signs that needs to follow you that should be following you hallelujah oh praise God Hallelujah. 
God, we thank you for your word this morning. God, we thank you for your sacrifice. God, we thank you for everything, God, that you have done. Everything, God, we thank you this morning. Oh, la Hallelujah, le 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 boche, ya da 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 bosi. Ye na 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 ma shi ye ya da 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 bosa. Liyo shi ye ra na 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 bosi ya raba. Ye ye re 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 boshi ya ya na na na. Ye ya ya da 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 shi. Ye. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and tap in this morning. Ye na 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 Never. La bazora bakosha da 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 do saya. Never be the same. You will never be the same after today. You will never view the cross the same. The sacrifice that he made. You will never view it the same from this day forward. Makura baba bashia. Le ma na 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 mo shere de 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 bosa. I thank you, Garabakosha. Thank you for revelation knowledge. Makusa Rebeko Sharabandosa Ribu Shandanana Makuse and Okuraya. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Ramando Satayana Makushende Yana Makuya Basa. Ah, Nanana Makuse Rede Debo. I thank you for restoration this morning. I thank you for renewed vision this morning, God. I thank you for purpose, hallelujah, in progress this morning. Glory be to God. I thank you for alignment. I thank you, Lord God. Mm. Yamaziere de ocean de da 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 bossa. I thank you for the birth of healing ministries. I na 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 musa da 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 da. Aye boko raba baba. You na yamaziere de de bossa. Ma ya na 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 musere de 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 bossa ya ba. Aye na na ya. Somebody is feeling fire upon their hands right now whether you're watching live whether you're watching the replay as the fire of healing falls upon your hands because the enemy tried to distract you with healing Ria na 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 mo se re de 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 bo sha a na 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 o sa ye da 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 bo shi ra da 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 bo sa 
but the healing virtue of God is flowing through you now but it will not just be through your own body only but it will flow through you to others this morning God in the nakure de 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 bosanda na 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 mokora ba 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 se ra na 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 fresh oil is being poured this morning. I just hope somebody can just tap in. We basa tare de 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 bosha as fire comes up all over your body. Bazukura na ya na bosa ya na ri ya na 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 bosha re de 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 bosha. Somebody has shifted this morning. La makura ba ba se ya. You have been asking God. You have been praying, God, I want more. I want to do more for you, God. I pray for a fresh dose of uh, anointing of God upon you this morning. Uh, the anointing is not for you to be anointed. Mm. You go to Acts 1 and verse 8. Glory be to God. The anointing doesn't come just for you to speak louder in tongues than the person next to you. Or for you to shake more than the other person. But it comes upon you to give you power. Anabako rabazia. Rebako shandaradadabakusia. God is expanding somebody's vision this morning. You have been viewing yourself like the children of Israel viewed themselves, ah, God, in the face of the giants. They said that they are but grasshopper. But you are no grasshopper. God is expanding your vision this morning. You thought that what he called you to do was something small. But he's saying not so. The earth shall be your stage. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. But if I was like you, I would grab that word. God bless you, Sister Cynthia. I love how you're taking everything. Praise God. She's just taking everything. I'm like that too, sis. I take everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, Lord, increase my capacity. Increase my capacity. Praise God, because sometimes God is pouring, but because you don't have the capacity to receive all that he is pouring, praise God, you miss out on some things. Lord, increase my capacity. Oh yes, God, Oh Glory to God. There is a place that God wants us to get to. Ibazaya namaze. E nazanda rada da zorodosh. E na 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 na. I don't know why I'm going back here, but I'm going to go back here. Mazie rodoshanda. 
liandaya wazoshi ye ananaya makuza ya na makure de yas halelelelele bosha come up higher anda bazai god wants us to come up higher to come up higher there is somebody that is here praise god hallelujah that you are distracted you are so distracted by the power of the enemy coming up against you i don't know god has brought me right back to this so distracted about the by the power that the enemy hallelujah has and and, and i understand because sometimes it gets overwhelming hallelujah sometimes you are hit with one after the other after the other after the other kabibasio shanda rabako sanda but i also i'm trying to bring home to you the power that god has given to you it is not comparable it is not comparable to the power that the enemy has he does not have a greater power than you you have the greater power hallelujah yeah da na 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 mos yeah da 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 na na there is a scripture i think it's somewhere in james that says and the devils they know that jesus is lord and they tremble So even if you are not at the place yet to say that I know that I'm powerful hallelujah then be at the place where you know the name that you come in the name that you were baptized into the name hali bazura bakoshaya because when you know when you have that knowledge and they know that you know they tremble there is a place that god wants us to be it's the place that jesus was the place that jesus walked i want you to draw your memory back to every encounter that he had with demons He didn't fight them to come out rather they saw him they saw him and they started to plead with him son of god what have i done son of god why trouble you me son of god they recognized the power they recognized who he was and they started to try to bargain with him They are the ones that were afraid. We should not be the ones who are afraid. Even principalities begged. When he got to the place where hallelujah those territorial spirits were and the man ran out of the tomb to plead with Jesus and say please Son of the living God, do not cast us out of this place. Because they understood that he knew the power. People perish for lack of knowledge. Yes, sister Viola, be empowered in his word. I pray that our appetite for the word will increase. I pray this morning that as we go through the word of god that we go through with a renewed mind that revelation that we did not know things that we could not see before that it will be laid open before our eyes praise god there is a prayer that i started praying over myself god that i'm going to pray over you this morning praise the name of jesus and it's a prayer that paul prayed over the church of Ephesus glory to God i'm going to pray that prayer over you this morning and i think that's the end of it i think that's where 
Aaron Rocco. Let's see. Praise God. And it's in Ephesians chapter 1, starting at verse 17. And it says, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, would give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. How I pray that prayer, I said, I pray that the God of our Lord and Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, would give me a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. I pray that the perception of your mind may be enlightened so you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the glorious riches of his inheritance amongst the saints? And what the immeasurable greatness of his power to us. The immeasurable greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his vast strength. In Jesus name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's Ephesians 1 verse 17 to 19. You can pray that prayer over yourself. Because now it's time for us to get that revelation. That deeper revelation. Of the vastness of his power to us who believe. Praise God. Hallelujah. Revelation in the knowledge of who he is. And of who we are in him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for tarrying with me this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you everyone. Hallelujah. He, may he keep you and may, he's, may he cause his face to shine down on you. You are blessed. Praise God. His chosen vessels. The one who he pulled out all the stops to restore you back to his original design hallelujah go forth go forth and shine go forth and live hallelujah go forth and be the kingdom citizen that jesus paid the ultimate price for you to be praise god